wow <laughs> what a nice conversation uh it's all about love it's all about uh christ it's all about uh helping and reaching out to your community especially where you come from not forgetting where you come from and one thing stuck out for me you know through our guests it's that it doesn't matter where you come from it should never dictate where you're going and i'm also a firm believer in really embracing and knowing how everything belongs to god and he can take you anywhere and he can do anything that you pray for great um now i'm, I'm catching up with your name and i, I really love rev yes, yes, <laughs> i love it you know rev rebecca yes. mrs gitau kehu i love it i love it i love it so um you are here for a reason in the country yes. uh, at this particular moment yes. Um, and uh, earlier in the show, you had mentioned about, you know, Shalom who is in heaven. Yes. Uh, would you be able to talk about that and also uh, lead us as to what you're doing, uh, you know, guided by Shalom? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Shalom Vision Outreach mm -hmm. is uh, a mission agency mm -hmm. uh, to Kenya yes. and to other nations mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm and uh, birthed in 1999 mm -hmm. uh, when uh, residing in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. I was a stay-at-home mom yes. with my daughter Patience yeah. and I was pregnant with Shalom. Mm -hmm. And I would receive a lot of letters from the village mm -hmm. where I was mm -hmm. escapement village yes. from the children. Yes. And they would tell me how they don't eat, how they don't go to school, mm -hmm. how their parents had died. Mm -hmm. And you remember when I said, when I gave my life to Jesus, yes. there were children who were surrounding me, my age yes. mate. Yes. So these are their parents. Mm -hmm. And they would write me that uh, how their parents mm -hmm. had passed on. Yeah. And I remember as is today, one day, mm -hmm. my husband had gone to school mm -hmm. uh, and I was sitting down praying in the morning for these letters. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking the Lord to set somebody. Yes. I was removing myself from yes. the equation yes. because I had no money. Yes. I was a stay home mom, yes. pregnant. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was thinking somebody with millions is a person who need to take care of this, not me. <laughs> That's a, such a wrong uh, yeah. conception. Yes. When God places that yes. thought in you, yes. He knows He's factored in. You're not yeah. a millionaire. Yeah. He's factored yeah. in. You have nothing, yes. but yes. you have hope yes. that you can give. Yes. Love it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So as I was praying for these letters, mm -hmm. I had the Lord tell me that I'm the one to do something, and I'm like. I gave on my butt, B-U-T. I, I don't have this, yeah. I don't have that. Yeah. I am here, yeah. I can, uh, my visa, uh, it does not allow me to work. Mm -hmm. I'm a dependent, yes. meaning I depend on okay. my yes. husband. Yes. But I asked the Lord, if you show me what to do, mm -hmm. I will do it. Yeah. I say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And sure enough, we used to drink Fanta, mm -hmm. soft drinks mm -hmm. in, uh, in abroad. They come in aluminum can. Yes. And the Lord said, if you can get those aluminum can Surely. and put them together yes. and recycle them, yes. you can get $10 or $20 and send the money to your mom who is the in the village. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy Vito. God Look bless you. And I'll send my mom mm. that $20 yes. and she will gather all these children yes. in our home yeah. and um, she'll cook for them. Mm. I remember the first time I did that was mm -hmm. Christmas time mm -hmm. and uh, mom bought them sodas mm -hmm. cooked them yes <laughs> chapati mm. because when I was a little girl mm. in the village mm -hmm. my dad and my mom sometimes yes. they would not afford a chapati yes, yes and if I walked in the village mm. and I smelled somebody was cooking chapati yeah. they would give me a piece of chapati yeah like that and that was christmas yes because christmas without yes. chapati yes. is not it's christmas not christmas yes and uh and so for those who have extra flour and yeah. cooking oil yeah. what i want to tell you it's for god so love the world that yeah. he gave yeah i would like you to help us yes help me mm. provide chapati for many people who are mm. going without chapati mm. 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 so yeah. i would recycle the cans mm -hmm. and i would send the money to my mom mm -hmm. My mom would gather them and cook for them. Mm. And uh, 
during that time I realized there was something bigger than me mm. that was about to happen. Mm. I had no idea what it was. Mm -hmm. So I started believing God mm -hmm. and uh, there was drought that time actually mm -hmm. in 1999, mm -hmm. is it 99? Yes, mm -hmm. and we came and we did a relief work. Mm -hmm. We brought uh, Unga, um, yeah, yeah, Ugali. Yeah. We did uh, an outreach, mm -hmm. a relief effort to the entire community. Mm -hmm. And it was so touching mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. when I would see these mamas carrying their children, my age mates, mm -hmm. children, and then they have covered this. Mm -hmm. And then you see somebody is carrying two here to here. Mm -hmm. And I was third at the door, I would tell them, hey, mm -hmm. now if you take four, yeah. just take two, yeah. take two, take mm two, -hmm. you keep back it, mm -hmm. you'll we get yes, more. Yes, yes. And it was an honor to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's when, after we left the country, mm -hmm. went home thinking mm. in my head for 16 hours in the plane, yeah. I realized I am the one to do something here. Mm. And so that's how we registered uh, KU International Ministries. Mm. Uh, KU is my son's uh, middle name. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started uh, letting the story be known mm. where we lived about mm -hmm. um, about what I wanted to do. Mm. And actually, I was not asking people for money. Mm. So Kenya, we don't have to ask people for money mm. to serve others. Yeah. You can bring your potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can bring your cooking oil. Mm -hmm. You can bring your packet of rice. Mm -hmm. Because Rebecca did not have money. Yes. And she had a room in Amken. Yeah. Soda cans. Mm. And she recycled them. Mm. Maybe you have extra clothes. Yes. And those children mm -hmm. in your neighborhood, mm -hmm. in your village, mm -hmm. who have no mom, who have no dad, they yeah. have their social. Mm -hmm. We are social at an ashilingi mia moja. Ukienda kwa market, si ubai guo bili, tatu mm -hmm. hivi, uletea wa watoto. Mm -hmm. Ukinunu wa mkate, si ununu wa mkate moja, uletea wa watoto. Yeah. Because, kwa nini, why should, uh, why should we have a Kenya that is mm. sleeping hungry, hungry yeah. and a Kenya that is so full with food. We mm -hmm. should not have that. Okay, so sure. I can encourage you, mm. my fellow Kenyans, yes. let's have compassion. Mm. Compassion. Mm. So that's how Shalom Vision Outreach was birthed. Mm. Uh, we helped you construct the kitchen mm -hmm. in Escapement mm -hmm. Primary School. Mm -hmm. Uh, we helped, we took an old rugged building there, yes, which yes. used to be a railway. Mm -hmm. We constructed it, we turned it to a clinic. Nice. Right now it's at the county government wow. uh, for the people to be treated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, if you come to escarpment, mm -hmm. there is a hill yes. going up to yes. get a matato, yes. to go to be able to get a, to a hospital. Uh -huh. I hated that journey to mm, climb mm, up mm, there mm, to go mm, to the hill. Yes. So we constructed this building. Mm -hmm. It's now a clinic mm. uh, which the county government has taken over and people are being helped. Mm -hmm. And uh, the well, yes. the water mm -hmm. was my my thing. Imaji mm. Yakiroiro, uh, uh, the diseases that come with drinking yeah. bad water. Mm. Uh, we dug the well in mm -hmm. 2004. Mm -hmm. It produced a lot of water, mm. and uh, the Lord said it will be used for generation to generation. Yes, and uh, it is going to to be a blessing to the surrounding villages mm. and to everyone who will ever come from far and near yes, needing yes. clean water. Yes. yes. And uh, the community of Mumutoni, I greet to your people of Mumutoni. They came and put the pipes mm. on the ground mm -hmm. and they connected the water from the Shalom Center mm. and the water started running to their homes. Mm. And the women who were carrying mitungi, yes. uh, they stopped carrying mitungi because mm. now they had taps in their homes. Yes. And uh, this time around, mm -hmm. we I came because we redug the well. Yes. We had the water had stopped running mm. since mm. 2016 because mm. of high bill mm. of uh, mm. Kenya mm. Power. Mm. And this time around, the Lord has enabled us to bring solar panels mm -hmm. so that the water can be pumped through the the solar, mm. so that the community can have access to the water. Mm. And uh, above that, mm -hmm. we, we are bringing the children back into the center. Mm -hmm. We'll be feeding them mm -hmm. and crowning them mm -hmm. and uh, providing scholarships mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And above all, sharing the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. For the God so loved the world that yes. he gave his only begotten son. That yes. if you and me, we believe, mm -hmm. will not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. So that is uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the goal. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, right now, I'm letting everybody know mm -hmm. when you come to the Shalom Vision Outreach, mm -hmm. 
you will not only get clean water, mm. but uh, you will get the living water, Jesus, and you never be thirst again. Mm. And uh, Jesus said, mm. I am the bread of life. Yes. If you eat this chapati on Christmas, mm -hmm. you will continue being hungry. Yeah. <laughs> but if you allow Jesus to come into yes. your heart, he said, I am the bread of life. Yeah. When he comes into your heart, mm. you will never be hungry. Mm. If you take of him, you will never be thirsty again. <laughs> because he will quench your thirst, yes. thirst of alcohol. Yes. He will yes. quench your thirst of hopelessness. Yes. Yes. He will fill you up. He will mm. fill you up. Mm. And you will find love in him. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Praise God. Uh, yes. Um, I know there was a short story behind um, that period, 2004, of digging the well, uh, KPLC doing that thing, and coming back now with the solar panels. Yes. Um, you, when you went back home yes. in America, mm -hmm. something happened. Yes. Yeah. Could you walk us through that? Yes. So I was, uh, I was here in July. Mm -hmm. Thank God because the earth and the fullness they all belongs to God. Mm, mm. <laughs> and as I went back home, mm. it was very dusty mm. here mm. in the country. Mm, mm. And as I went back home and saw the crisis of water, mm. and especially in escarpment village, yes. I went with my heart heavy. Yeah. And uh, when I went home, I have clean water. Mm -hmm. I can turn the tap water yes, yes. at my that. home. Yeah. I don't have to boil yeah. it. Yeah. I just drink mm, it. Mm. And that water is also the water for washing, mm. for cleaning, mm. for kitchen garden. Yes. It's clean water. Mm -hmm. So when I went home, being an Esther, yes. if you're caught being an Esther, Oops. don't stop there. Yes. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> I will turn and toss in bed, mm. seeing the Kiroiro River yeah, dried up, yes. dirty water, mm. and then my mind, I see the Shalom vision. Mm. There is a well mm. that is not running, but it has a lot of water, yeah, a lot of water. Yeah. And uh, one of the days as I was walking in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. I saw with a friend, Elizabeth, hi Elizabeth, <laughs> I saw this water being flushed. Uh, in the in in abroad, yeah. the wells are yes, fresh yeah. periodically yes, to keep yes, it clean. Yes, yes. And I asked my friend, "Would you drink this water?" Mm -hmm. Actually, the water was clean like this. Yeah. And she said, "No." no. And then I, s I told her the situation mm -hmm. that I left mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. and I showed her the Kiroiro River, how it had dried, mm -hmm. and we started praying. Mm -hmm. Prayer changes all things. Mm -hmm. We started believing God, mm -hmm. and as we were sitting down there in this little a stream of water, yeah. I had the Lord tell me, believe me for solar. Yep. Believe me for solar. Mm. And uh, we prayed, and I got out of there, believed God for solar, and the Lord provided miraculously for solar panels. Thank you for my friends who provided, who mm. helped me, enabled mm. me to be able to come up with the mm. funding for the solar mm. panels. Mm. And that's how we were able to get the pump out, yes. cleaned it, and put the solars. Mm -hmm. And now it's up and running. Mm -hmm. uh, those of you that live in escarpment and mm. in the neighboring villages, mm. if you need clean water, Shalom Vision Outreach, there is uh, water right there is the escarpment village near mm. the shopping center. Mm. There is clean water. Yeah. Uh, the only thing this time around, mm -hmm. we will be charging a fee, mutungi mm -hmm. moja, yeah. ni five bob. Yes. Mutungi ni five bob. Yes. And, um, uh, and a drum mm. is, uh, is 50 shillings. Yes. So that we can be able to maintain the solar panels. Absolutely. Yes. I, I think that's one of the most amazing initiatives anyone can make because this is about the the very basics of life mm -hmm. you know without water we are mm -hmm. uh, what are we we everything can go wrong yes. and um i really really want to thank you for you know taking that and for letting god guide to guide you mm -hmm. in order to find a solution and work with what you have yes. which is an excuse to a lot of us we uh, wait for the perfect time yes to give back, we wait for a certain period to give yes. back. Like there'll be a lot of that happening, you know, yes. during this Christmas season yes. to New Year, and then we forget those people, then mm. we go back. So I really love the encouragement. 
Um, so there are so many things uh, we've, okay, personally I've learned from you yes. today uh, mm -hmm. about the sphere of love, mm -hmm. uh, of giving, mm -hmm. and also of Jesus mm -hmm. uh, being involved in your life. Yes. Uh, what message would you give, you know, young people who are looking into courting, into relationships, like, because I'm sure, and you did mention that you have had your ups and downs, yes. little fights here and there. Yes. What are those things that young people first can look out for mm -hmm. before getting into a relationship, mm -hmm. apart from what we've already discussed, and that is uh, seeking the foundation that is God. Now, in reality, <laughs> and also how to maintain, you know, a, a marriage like yours. Yes. Yeah. As, as a young person, uh, one of the things you can do is to serve. Mm. Serve, serve others. Mm. Are you, if you don't go to church, <laughs> church is a very good place to go. Yeah. Uh, find a good believing church mm -hmm. and start serving there. A good believing church, yes. not just any church. A good Bible believing church. Yes. And start serving there. Yes. And get connected. Mm. Because now when you are, you are, you are connected, mm -hmm. You are, you are learning the ways of the Lord. Exactly. And as you are learning the ways of the Lord, mm. and uh, you stay in the word, because mm. these are my love letters mm. between my husband and mm -hmm. I. Yeah. So when you're connected to a Bible-believing church, mm. you'll be reading the Bible. Mm. B-I-B-L. We sing mm. a song, the B-I-B-L. Yes. yes, that's the book yes. for me. Yes. I stay alone on the word wow. of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Wow. So it's been a while since I had that song. <laughs> so you start yes. immersing yourself in the Bible. Mm. In the Bible. Mm -hmm. For me right now, being in my 50s, mm. the Bible has been my anchor. Uh, Losing my son, Shalom, mm, at mm. 23 year old, uh -huh. in a tragic car accident. Mm, if it was not for the word of yes, God yes. that drew near to mm, me, mm, come to me, let mm, me med your heart mm, in the book of Psalms. Mm. If it was not for the Bible, yes. I, w I don't know who I could be. Yes. And when you stay in the word, mm -hmm. in the Bible, mm -hmm. and then when God is speaking to you, mm. and actually Kenya, may the Lord help you to 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 calm down mm. uh, where I'm residing right now there is a lot of noise mm. the cuckoo the mm. birds mm. the donkeys the dogs mm. and then your neighbor wakes up very early in the morning mm. put this loud mm. boom 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 music mm. Mm. I urge you in the name of the Lord mm. command your morning in the morning yes. hear the voice of the Lord in the morning mm. let the Lord speak to you mm. As a young person, let him l be quiet before the Lord. Mm. Do, don't wake up to social media. Don't wake up to TV. Don't wake up to so and so, mm. the, 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 the favorite musician mm. in the country. Mm. Quiet your heart yes. in the Lord, yes. according to the book of Psalms. Quiet yes. your heart in the Lord mm. and let him, and, and let him take all your cares, mm. take all your sorrows, mm. uh, take all your disappointment, yes. take all your, uh, your frustration, mm -hmm. let him take over. Mm. When I was coming this time around, mm -hmm. uh, my father-in-law, mm -hmm. uh, Joseph K Kangasha, passed mm -hmm. away the day I was coming. Oh, so and sorry. I had packed mm. to bring some thickening for him. Mm. And my sister in law calls me in the morning mm -hmm. of and tell me mm -hmm. not to bring that to him uh, because he had passed. Mm. And as I was unpacking, mm -hmm. I had the Lord tell me, mm. tell Kenya to unpack, mm. to unpack the, oh, the little things, yeah. the little things we are, we, the, the Kenya is carrying. Yes. So that we can be, the Kenya can be able to hear the voice of the Lord mm. unpack. Is it anger? Is it jealous? Mm. Whatever, mm. whatever mm. you mm. have mm. in your basket, yes. because as a bride of Christ, mm -hmm. you want to travel light. Yes. You don't want to be carrying <laughs> a lot. So True. when I emptied my suitcase, yes. I was able, I was able to have a less luggage yes. because I did not need it. Yes. So whatever you don't need as a mm. young person, mm -hmm. uh, drop it. Drop it. Mm. You know, is it alcohol? Mm. Drop it. This mm. Christmas, mm. don't go drinking. Yes. You know, for those of you that just got circumcised, mm. young men, mm -hmm. you don't have to go and uh, do the cultural thing to start mm. uh, having sex. You don't mm. need to do mm. that. Mm. Get in the word and yeah. see God's will for your life. Yes. You know, yes. for those of you, my brothers and my sisters, that you have no money for Christmas mm. for buying flour, mm. don't beat your wife. What yes. are you beating your wife for? Yeah, yeah. Do you have skooma in your garden? Mm -hmm. Gather the 
scoop mine. <laughs> chop, chop, chop it. Actually, yes. scoop mine is very raw. Yes. Cool. Yes, if you is. have the ugali yes. flower, make True. some ugali yeah. and come together mm. at the table mm. and give God the glory yes. because he has opened the heaven for our nation. Mm. Healing lane. My prayer has been for these few weeks up here yes. that there is a healing lane, mm. healing rain. Mm. And I do believe God is doing exactly that. Mm. Healing rain. And I declare and declare that mm. Kenya will never be the same again. Amen. That this healing rain of blessing will continue to rain mm. and that your homes, mm. your homes will experience the abundance of rain. Mm. That your yesterday is not your tomorrow. Yes. That the Christmas that is here as we edit, it's going to mm. be beautiful. Mm. That you will turn around, you see your wife, you see your children mm. and you will say, surely the Lord has been so good to me. Mm. We are alive in the land of the living. Yes. COVID did not take you. Mm. Elena, uh, what do you call Elena. it? Yes. Elena did not take you. <laughs> yeah. You know, you are take a time to give God the glory. Mm. I wonder what would happen in Kenya if we all surround ourselves on Christmas Day mm. and we give God the glory. Yes. He deserves all our glory. Amen. So my prayer and my charity to my brothers mm. and my sisters mm. this Christmas, mm. may we surround ourselves with the love of Christ. Mm. We share Acts 2 and 42 to 47. Mm. The Bible says that uh, the apostles had everything in common mm. and they sought what they had yes. and they shared mm. and none of them was lacking mm. and the church was added in number. Amazing. May that be our portion as a nation mm. that we share. Yes. One of the things that is amazing me, these boys that are coming to the widow mm -hmm. and they look, they look like they oh, need something. Yeah. And I wonder, mm. mama, Mm. I want to encourage you in the name of the Lord. Mm. Call your sons back home mm. and start praying yes, for them. Yes. You see, for me, my mm. mom, Priscilla, would pray for us. Mm. My dad, Yeshiga, would mm. pray for us. Mm. That we will become great in the land. Mm. That will impact our generation. Mm -hmm. So wherever you are, mm. I don't know your situation. Mm. I declare and declare mm. that before this year is over, mm. beauty mm. will be your portion. Amazing. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel Hallelujah. Like yes. <laughs> you've been preaching. You've been preaching. <laughs> and and I'm so happy that we're ending the year on such a high note. Yes. You know, um, and I love the fact that you are telling young people, drop what you have, yes. travel light. Yes. Prepare yourselves for what's coming. Yes. And I think that message is so beautiful yes. and very impactful. Yes. And uh, even the people in the room, you know, the, yes. our crew can hear yes. and see. Mm -hmm. And we thank God for you Amen. for allowing you to come to the nest. Yes. I wish we can go on, but yes. uh, our time is out. Yes. But uh, we'll be happy to showcase what you do. would love to see your pictures as yes. a couple. would love yes. to to also uh, clarify where we can find the, the book, book. Yes. and th that one is going to be put yes. uh, in the show. Yes. But thank you so much for You're coming. Welcome. Thank you. Great. Thank you for having me. Wow, thank <laughs> you. And travel back safely yes. and happy holidays. Thank you. Wonderful. Merry Christmas. Wonderful. Thank you. Guys, uh, it really, it felt like we just attended one of the most powerful sermons. You young people who are out there, I hope you're encouraged. I hope a mom who has nothing to do for their children this Christmas. You're encouraged, same as fathers, same as you children, you know, bring your parents closer to God. That's the message we got out of this show tonight. Happy holidays, everyone. I've been your host, Maureen Waititu. If you do have something to share with our audience, to inspire, to inform, to educate them, please reach us on the Y254 social media pages, my page, Maureen Waititu, and We'll be happy to sit down and hear your story. Until next time, it's a good night. <laughs>